Podcast. What's good, Fit Nation? Yo, listen to me, right? She's back. She's back, and she's dropping more facts. This is my second video on this woman, and I don't even know her name. But what I do know, she's back, and she's talking facts. She is calling the ladies out for dry begging. Oh, and I've been saying it for so long, but it feels, it's refreshing to hear a woman say the same things I've been saying. So maybe, right, maybe the message we get through to you ladies, right, if you hear it from another woman. No? Yeah, you guys are probably going to call and pick me and move on. I get it. But... That doesn't stop me from showcasing what she has to say and giving my thoughts along the way. But before we get into all that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, man. Subscribe to my channel at RainFit TV. We are on the road to our first 1K. We at 909 subscribers, man. Hit that subscribe button. I'll love you forever. And of course, man, follow my Facebook page at RainFit TV. All right, man. Enough of me plugging stuff. Like I said, that was a quick plug, right? You know, we we gonna we gonna allow her, we gonna allow her, you know, talk talk them facts, man. We gonna allow her talk them facts. Let's go. Let me get this straight. A man can't text you guys, what are you doing? Because you got two, three thousand dollars worth of monthly bills. I don't think y'all really out here looking for like a real man, like an alpha man, a king, somebody who can teach you, guide you, lead you, somebody that you can actually build a foundation with, you know, get some genuine chemistry going. Some Y'all not looking for that. Y'all are out here looking for somebody to help you. Y'all are out here looking for a sponsor, somebody to sponsor your lifestyle. Because I'm trying to understand when did... Not help, ladies. Y'all looking for... I've been saying this shit for so long. I'm never going to sit here and act like I haven't been saying this. I'm telling you guys, fellas, they don't want you. They need help. They don't want you for you. They want you for your money. They can't afford to live. They they use dating and, and all these other standards. They use standards as a way of begging. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. A man has to meet my standards. He has to do this. He has to do that. Mm -mm. She, she, that all this shit is a facade. She broke. <laughs> she need help. No, continue. To become a man's responsibility to even give you anything during the dating phase. A man is not responsible for your monthly bills in the dating phase. You're not his woman. And what makes at all, at fucking all. I'm sorry to keep, but at all, like what the fuck? Why are you making me responsible for a house I ain't living in? I don't even know your last name, bitch. What are you talking about, your bills? I don't give a fuck about your bills. I'm trying to get to know you. But you think that a man does not have his own bills? His own responsibilities. That is why a lot of you ladies cannot enjoy the dating phase because you are out here dating for all the wrong reasons. When you are dating somebody, it should really only be about just seeing if you and this person got a connection. Can we build together? Are we on the same page? Do we got the same beliefs, the same values? Something to go along those lines. But y'all get so frustrated. Well, he keep texting me what you doing and he ain't asking me how much is my rent and my kernel. That's not his problem. What the fuck? Thank you, lady. What the fuck kind of... Who started this shit? What kind of fucked up shit is that? I can't ask you how your day is going because I'm not offering to pay your car note and your rent. What the? Like, what the fuck? What? Who started this shit that is just so mind-boggling? And these ladies be dead fucking serious, yo. Baba I keep cooking because she cooking. I ain't got to really say much because she cooking. Let's go. A real man is not getting ready to lead with his money. Only an insecure man lead with his money. There and simps. Uh, don't forget the simps. The simps do that kind of shit. You lame ass nigga. Yeah, you. It's some man that will give you money in the first couple of months, but that's a man that don't know himself. A man that knows himself, he's going to find out a turn off that you're even asking him for money. Allow that man to give you that good gesture. A man that is genuinely interested in you, he's going to see any type of weight that he can lift off of you so you wouldn't have to ask to begin with. But if you ladies are out here drowning in your own monthly bills like that to the point where you frustrated and can't date somebody for the genuine reasons, then you shouldn't be dating. You need to go worry about your bills, get them situated, and then come back to the dating field because your bills is nobody else's responsibility but your own. As long as a man is respecting you, making time for you, and he's showing you that he is consistently interested, that is all you should be asking for in the dating phase. Y'all got to stop this. Y'all begging way too much. This is That's dry begging. That's what that is. Oh. Let me get this Listen, I couldn't have said it better myself. Fellas, the, we go, it's dry begging. 
I couldn't have said it better myself. Everything she said in this video, all facts, no filter. Mm -mm. No filter at all. Everything she said was all facts, man. For men, listen, ladies, right? Let us offer, like, y'all just be leading with the bills. Like, hey, how you doing? My name is such and such. Yeah, I know, but I have this bill, I have this bill, and I have this much, and I need this much. It's like, what the f It's like, <laughs> yo, bro, like, everything she said in that video is all facts, ladies. I hope y'all took notes. But I doubt it, right? Because, you know, it's so much easier to beg than it is to actually do something about it and trying to make your life better without depending on a man to do everything for you. It's just, I'm not gonna lie, it's just sickening. It makes me sick to my, I cannot stand it, yo. It, it irks me so much. And like everybody with this whole men should do this, men should do this shit. Men, listen to me, fellas, right? Do whatever the fuck makes you happy. You understand? If you wanna pay that woman's bills, pay that woman's bills. If you love her that much, you do that, you go for it. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a man providing for a woman that he cares for. But never, and I mean never, allow anybody, other men included, because they're simps who do that shit, make you feel obligated to care for and provide for somebody you don't even fucking know. You don't know this bitch. What the fuck you doing paying her, giving her money for, paying her bills? If you don't get that, if you don't get that bitch a job application, give her a goddamn job application. Bitch, go to work. We, we got to work for her shit. What the fuck makes you think you could just, man... Like I said, man, I, I'll be on this camera all day ranting about that shit. But, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I don't want to make this video too long. You know, I saw this video. I said, she is back and she's dropping facts. But listen, right? If you think this video is crazy, she, check out the first video I did on her. And she was, she, you thought she was cooking in this video? Check out this video. It's on the screen right now. She was cooking. She was cooking women bad. I'm telling y'all. Cooking modern women. Not women as a whole, but modern women. You modern women. She's cooking them bad, man. Videos on the screen. We out of here, man. Don't forget to subscribe, too.